my first video for 2020 because I haven't been doing much with staying at home, trying to get my house together. Then, of course, the coronavirus stuff done happened, so you really have to stay home. So I like to thank everybody for tuning in and thank you. I want to thank all of my subscribers. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I hope everyone is staying safe, of course, with the coronavirus going around. Today, I'll be making a crawfish ball since we're not able to go out to our favorite restaurant. And I'm doing a little smaller ball since it's just two people eating today. So on the recipe, we're going to have crawfish, shrimp, potatoes, lemon, an onion, some corn. I have these down home brand smoked sausage that I'll be trying for the first time. And I have the crawfish seasoning. And then I already say olive oil, but if I didn't, some olive oil. But you can add anything you like in the ball. Like if you want to add eggs or whatever you think you want to ball in your ball, you can do it. But this is what I'm using in this particular one. So when I come back, we'll get started. Welcome back. What I'm about to do now is start boiling my water with the seasoning in it. And that's going to have to boil for about five minutes. So since I'm going to be boiling the potatoes, the shrimp, and the corn in a different uh pot because we making the crawfish real spicy and my little nephew's coming over and him and my other a couple of other little kids and some uh, a couple of other people they don't want the potatoes and corn that spicy because they're going to be eating something else so i'm just going to make this part mildly spicy but when i get to those crawfish they finna be extremely spicy so now let me get the olive oil to put a little olive oil in here because I'm not trying to make this too spicy. Even though it was supposed to only be for two people. But a couple of more people coming over. So I, I splash olive oil in almost everything. Now this water going to have to boil for like five to six minutes. Then I'm going to come back and add the potatoes. And once I add the potatoes, they're going to boil for 10 to 12 minutes. And then once I do the potatoes, then I'll go on to the next okay, step. guys, it's been six minutes now. So next, I'm going to drop the potatoes that I already pre-cut in half and rinsed off, off in here. And this is going to boil for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to set me a timer for maybe about 12 minutes to come back and check on them. And then I'm going to drop the corn next. So when I come back, I'll be dropping the corn. And then I'm going to get ready to put the uh, crawfish in the sink with a little salt and let them soak so I can okay, rinse I'm them off. I'm get ready to soak my shrimp in some just some cold water and rinse them off while I'm getting ready to do the crawfish. But I'm just going to soak these in some cold water and then I'm going to come back and do the crawfish. But I only got a little shrimp, but I just was showing you that. I'm just going to soak it in some water. And I might... Um, well, I'm just going to soak it. Then I'm going to come right back and put the crawfish in here. I'm just going to show uh, y'all me putting the crawfish in. I had these crawfish in the freezer till I came back because I just bought them today. But I'm pouring the first bag in and then let me get the other little bag. And I'm going to add some salt in here. But they started to come back to life because they were alive when I got them. And I just set them in the freezer. But all you do is set them in some water, rinse them until they, you know, to get all the mud and stuff off. And then I'm going to sprinkle some salt in here. So when I come back, I'll be ready to cook them or get they water ready for me to boil them since I'm using a separate pot. Hey guys, now this is the best part. I'm getting the crawfish water ready for me to do my crawfish in. Now with the crawfish, since I'm like mine spicy, me and my son, I'm going to make the water. It, I don't know about how much seasoning I pour because I probably need to measure it. But I just keep pouring this until this water is real red because I want them spicy. So the water just need to be real red. And then I'm going to add a couple of dashes of olive oil. I don't know. Maybe that was more than a couple. I'm adding some lemon to start it, start it up with, some onions. And when I put the crawfish in here, I'm going to add some more anyway. But I'm adding these onions and lemons in here. And I'm going to let this boil for maybe six to seven minutes. 
and then I'm going to come back and start dropping the crawfish. And then we're going to come back and drop our corn before I drop the crawfish. The crawfish has been boiling for 12 minutes. Ooh, boy, and this stuff going to have me coughing. So I already rinsed this corn off, and it's going to boil for 8 to 10 minutes. So in 8 to 10 minutes, I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to add the shrimp into here. No, I'm adding the sausage next. And then I add the shrimp last. So, ooh, shit, that popped me in the eye. <laughs> But um, when we come back, I'm going to be cutting up the sausage. But this is going to boil for 8 to 10 minutes. And I added some lemon and onions in here. And I might, let me go on and put a little bit more olive oil because I can't never go wrong with that. A little dash or two or three dashes because there ain't nothing wrong with using some olive oil. But anyway, when I come back, we'll be adding the sausage. And then I'll be doing something. I just something pulled in. these out and I rinsed them off several times to get them as clean as I can get them. So when I come back, I'll be dumping this little batch into the water and look at them, they on high alert. They ready to bite somebody. Hey, I just was watching somebody else's crawfish video and I noticed they had some celery and carrots. And yesterday I went out to Wingstop and I don't like to waste food <laughs> the way the economy is. So I'm finna add these celeries in here. I already rinsed them off again in here cause I ain't never had it with this. But hell, how can it go wrong? So I'm just going to add this little celery in there because I don't like to waste food. And I'll be back. It's been 10 to 8 to 10 minutes. Now we're going to drop the down home smoked sausage. So once I um, drop it, that's going to boil for 10 to 12 minutes. And let me get my big spoon real quick and try to stir it around. And it's only going to need about 10 minutes to boil. And then I'm going to add my shrimp in here. And the reason why I might add a little more um, seasoning in here. Because the redder it is. You can always taste this too to see if it's spicy enough. Because whatever this tastes like, this water is what your stuff going to taste like. So I'm going to add a little more. Because I don't want this to be too spicy. Because I have some people who are going to be eating the corn and the shrimp and the sausage. My little nephew them. And they don't like that much spice. They can handle some spice, but not the kind of spice I'm going to have on this crawfish. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more in here. Because I don't want it to be too spicy, but just enough to have a good kick. And I'm going to let this boil for 10 minutes and I'm going to set my timer. Now, I just finished rinsing these crawfish off. For like 10, I mean not 10 minutes. So this water is now ready. So let me get the first batch of crawfish. Let me stir this around a little bit. And with all this spice, it smells good, but it's spicy. I'm glad I'm not out in public with this spice because if I would have got out coughing and stuff, every time you go out in public, you can't even sneeze or cough because folks will be looking at you like you got the corona. So I'm going to continue to put these in here. And then when I come back, I'll be adding the shrimp. And then it'll be time for me to pull these up. So I'm about back. to add my shrimp. With the shrimp, it don't take long for them to cook. So I'm going to get ready to cut this off and just let it sit. But they only need to cook in here for maybe like three to four minutes. So I'm just adding the shrimp. And then I'm going to cut it off and just let it all sit so the seasoning can soak in. So when I, when I come back, I'll be pulling out my crawfish and dropping my last okay, batch. The timer went off for the crawfish. Boy, don't these look amazing. So now I done cut the fire off and I'm going to let them sit for maybe 12 to 15 minutes to try to soak in some more of the seasoning and stuff. I added a little more seasoning to the crawfish because with the crawfish, you damn near can add the whole damn bag if you want a real good kick. I mean, where it's going to be real, real spicy, but I done used almost half the bag already on both pots, but I used the majority on these crawfish, but I added some more. So now I'm just going to let it um, soak in. And when I come back, I'll show you the ending. Okay, it's been result. 15 minutes, a little longer, 15, 16 minutes. I let it soak. And I taste one of those sausages. Those sausages are real good. That was my first time ever having a down-home smoked sausages. But those are good. 
And the crawfish are, I mean, it's spicy. So I'm about to get ready to eat. But um, I wanted to tell everybody that thanks for watching my video. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Don't just sit there and look at it. Subscribe. Thanks, and I hope y'all stay safe.